An organization chart is a diagram that shows the structure of an organization and the relationships and rank of its positions. Creating an org chart for your company or even just for your team can help clarify roles and responsibilities and improve communication. The great thing is that it doesn't have to be complicated to be super effective, and you can create one very quickly in Microsoft Excel. First, I'll show you the fast and easy method that anyone can accomplish using SmartArt. With this method, you can even add in pictures. Then we'll dive into the dynamic org chart made possible by Microsoft Visio add-in. It is going to blow your mind. Hi, I'm Rebecca and I teach Excel users how to create spreadsheets they can be proud of. If you use Excel in any capacity, you're in the right place. No matter what kind of spreadsheet you're working on right now, I'm sure it could use a little updating. That's why I created the Spreadsheet Tune-Up, a free training just for you. In five short videos, I'll teach you the first five steps that can help you to optimize any spreadsheet. We'll start with the smart art method. This method is easy and fast, and the best thing is anyone can use it, even if they don't have Microsoft 365. The only con is that it's not dynamic. So if you have a large number of employees that you want to add, um, it, it takes more manual work and any changes also have to be done manually. So the first thing you want to do is select your list of employees and just copy them. Um, those will come in handy later. We're going to be inserting a smart art, and that's in this second group called illustrations. And then this pop up will um, help us to choose a graphic. I'm going to choose hierarchy, and the most simple one is, in fact, an organization chart. So we're going to click OK. And then there's this group of shapes that are linked and that you can modify using this little bulleted list. So I'm just going to now paste that list of names right here. Delete all these extra ones. And then using the tab key, you can indent names and see that pops them underneath the name above it. So let's do this. Oh, yes. That name is the manager, these two are the staff. Then this is the another manager under this first general manager. And then these two are staff. So I'm using tab tab to put them into the right positions. Remember this is not dynamic. So making any changes, like if I put my own name here, does nothing for this table. You have to actually grab the name and put it in here as another field. But there are there's a lot of flexibility with the design. So you can come over here to Smart Art Design and change the colors. Um, let's see. Yeah, I like that one. And you can see it kind of did it into levels that the darker ones are at the top. You can also change the style so you could give it more of a 3D effect, which is kind of cool. Um, you can also change the layout here, which these are just all the other types of hierarchies. Um, and I'm going to highlight a few of these. Um, you can add pictures with a couple of these. So here we've got this and by double clicking on this, you can add a picture. So I just grabbed a, um, stock photo, but you can see it put that right next to that person's name, which is a really cool option, especially if you have a team and you want to train new people about, you know, who everyone is. Another cool option for the layout is this one that allows, let's see, it has a name, name and title. Yes, it's called name and title. So it has the names, but then it also has this little box here that you can put the titles into. General. So this is manual. It requires manual work to type in all these names because the titles are not in this handy bulleted list. Um, but like I said, this may this is fast and easy. It may be the best option for you. The next method requires a Microsoft Visio add-in. So we're going to go to the Home tab all the way over here to Add-ins. Click on that and then search for Visio. It's called Microsoft Visio Data and Data Visualizer. <laughs> so then add and it automatically pops in this little data visualizer that can help you to create diagrams from your data. 
I'm going to continue without signing in. Um, this does require Microsoft 365 and um, check, check how it works for you. But when I first tried this out, it did require a work or school account, not a personal Microsoft 365 account. So maybe that'll change in the future. I, there was a preview here that said um, it would allow me to use it without signing in. So let's see what that is like. Anyway, so we're going to go down to this option that says organization chart, and I'm going to choose vertical and click create. And the cool thing about this is that it creates like a template diagram with a bunch of uh, random names. They may look familiar because I have actually used this before. And these are the same names that I um, used for the smart art version. So here's the names and the diagram. Let's just explore what this template table looks like. It created a table for us and each each header has a little pop-up that shows what each what that column is for. So the employee ID is a unique ID number for each employee. It has to be unique and for each name. The title is what the title of or a role that you want displayed and it's displayed inside the shape here. The manager ID is the ID of the manager of that employee. So you can see this one, ID two, their manager is ID one, which is this first one. So that tells Visio how to structure the diagram. So it says this person is below this person. Then the role type will, you can see there's a bunch of different um, options here. I believe that changes the color. Let's actually try it. Let's see if I change this person to a manager and then refresh it. Yes, so it changed that person from blue to purple to show the different role. You may notice something that I just did, which is I used the refresh button. That would be something that, that that's one of the benefits of this is that you can add or delete or change positions or anything like that. So let's just say, I am being added to this team. I am, let's give me another role type, consultant. I'm gonna refresh and let's see where I pop up. I should be, yes, right here under May. And I have a new color because I am a different role type. Now, if you want to edit the colors, you'd have to click edit here and sign in with a Microsoft work or school account. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm using my personal Microsoft account, um, but you can save this as a picture. So you go over here to this button and say show as saved image, and then it just kind of converts it into a picture that you can copy and paste. It does have the toolbar on the top and the bottom though, so you definitely want to crop it. And I probably wouldn't um, keep it in Excel if you wanted to present it. You know, you could put it into PowerPoint, you could put it into an email or some kind of PDF, but it does create a picture with the whole diagram. And obviously if you're using this for your job, you could go over here and open it in Visio and you'd have even more customization options. That button is right here in these dot, 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 and it would say open in web, and that would open the full Visio in the web. Let me know in the comments which method you would use to create an org chart. Have you found these diagrams useful for your team or company? I'd also love to hear any questions you have. I promise to answer each one.